Okay, so this is Widmark Creek. This runs through the industrial park and it meanders through and it meets up with Centurion Creek. And then it meets down by just past the CN rail. And this was fixed with a bigger culvert and some riprap and some cement blocking um, to try and let some uh, wa more water flow through. And uh, yeah, it did its job because you can see where the water got to and everything held and it uh, didn't get blocked off by any trees or debris this time. So that was a good thing. This is Windrum Creek and this flows all the way through and again meets up with Centurion Creek. So you've actually got Widmark Creek and Windrum Creek that now meet up with Centurion Creek which is by the rodeo grounds. So in 2016 the water flow breached actually this bridge and that's why they shut down the bridge last year and um, built up the banks and put in the filter cloth which you can see the filter cloth is exposed over there. So even though it took away some of the rock, the filter cloth still protected the bank itself and slows down the erosion of the water that's passing through if the rocks have been taken away. And once we get to the park, you'll be able to see in more spots where the filter cloth really did a good job in, in holding back the erosion on the banks. And the debris this year also too is not uh, as bad that we don't have the trees and the, the small gravel backing up the water even more. Because as soon as it hits the bridge, it stops and lets all the water overflow. So I guess the key is try and make it so the water can freely flow as fast as it needs to go through. <laughs> Because this last year is what washed everything backed up and these culverts, they're not the same culverts, but they breached and all this track, all underneath this railroad track was washed away. And that didn't happen this year. so. That's why these hoes are here on standby, ready to go at any minute. They're here. They can just turn around and start digging out any debris or gravel that is blocking these culverts. So in the fall of, in the fall of 2016 and late summer, these banks were lined with this filter cloth and then the rocks brought in and built up and uh, when you lose the rocks, that cloth protects the, the bank from being eroded more and it sure, it was well worth its money because it sure did its job by the looks of it here. Two weeks ago, the water was level with those culverts and you can see how much rock has been swept towards those culverts. And that's why the back hose are here, ready to go any, any minute if they need be, to dig away that debris and rock away from the culvert so they don't plug. That was all washed away last year. There was a lot of money put into fixing that and um, we didn't have the damage this year we, we did previously, so. Hopefully it was money well spent, by the looks of it. And the water's got to be moving pretty fast and, and pretty high to be moving some of the size of these rocks and pushing. On some of our patrols when we were checking the culverts, you can hear the rocks flowing through them. It's quite an eerie, scary sound. The bridge held out nice. There used to be two of these bridges in here. There was one down there and one exactly like that was over here. It got washed off, washed last year. So this is Nicholson Road. They're putting these 
walls on each side, then they're going to pour a concrete bridge over top and line the banks with the similar cloth filter material and then you can see the the rocks all built up on the side. We were very very fortunate to have uh, these guys here putting in this bridge at this time just because we use them in, in a couple areas to try and help us out with this water coming in. So it worked out good, the timing, that they were here. This is actually a repair from the 2016 flood. You can see the difference in the side of the bank where there's no filter cloth. See how much it eroded away at the bank. So what was happening on this side, this is Wabi, what was happening on this side was the water was all rushing down and it was so high it was starting to erode around the culvert and all the blocks and um, material was falling into now the water and it was eroding around the culvert itself causing the bank to start to collapse. At one point yesterday, the water was level with the top of that culvert when we were here. So they brought in some rock and a backhoe and started uh, shoring it up, hoping to protect the, the culvert a little bit better. And again, they've got a backhoe waiting here, ready to deploy at any time if need be. You can actually still see where the water level hit last year on this bank here. So this is, was the pre-existing trail. Um, groundwater probably has a lot to do with it as well this year, but it was so soft that when the water come rushing around the corner, um, it slowly eats away and erodes, and the shifting obviously has happened within the last two weeks, and the flooding and the rushing of the water isn't helping because it's sliding more and more each day. I notice a couple of these trees that were standing yesterday, that being one of them, is now okay. down. This was standing yesterday. <laughs> this is why the trail is closed as well because it's so close to the, the path is so close to the water. And this creek is still uh, leading to the legion. To Centurion. All right, so this is still um, Windrum Creek, Creek coming down around by the Legion, and as it was coming down, trying to navigate this corner, it was eroding the side of the bank. It, of course, was unprotected at that time, so they had some hose come down here and equipment and line this bank with some rock and try and protect the the sediment and everything from slamming up against the bank and eroding it even more. And this is along the Wabi Trail. So basically just around this corner is where this Windrum Creek now flows into Centurion Creek and into the Pine River. So this is Pine River. Um, you can see the water level hasn't breached the bank yet down here and it probably um, I would imagine if it was going to it would have by now so I would say we had mother nature's um, help here and but we also too I think we were so much more prepared as well this is our third time so we kind of know what areas to go first, what's going to flood first, if it does flood. And having the equipment and everybody ready to help at a moment's notice was a huge bonus. And uh, unfortunately, it's something you don't want to be getting good at. But I feel like um, our level of preparedness is way, way better than the first time we know what to expect if 
it does happen. So, um, thankfully, we didn't uh, breach in a lot of spots.